Serenabrite, a contrast-enhanced biopsy procedure. Planning the procedure. One of the key aspects when starting a contrast-enhanced biopsy program is the conscientious collaboration between radiologist and technologist before the patient arrives. Pre-planning discussions will allow the entire team to have confidence about the patient position, biopsy approach, and any additional considerations for each specific patient. If you've already consistently used contrast-enhanced mammography and our biopsy platform, combining the two techniques is straightforward. Let's look at the room and patient setup for the contrast-enhanced biopsy exam. As with a routine contrast-enhanced exam, a power injector is recommended for the Serenabrite biopsy. The contrast flow rate, concentration, and the amount of contrast used is identical to the recommendations for a routine contrast-enhanced exam. The injection site is confirmed and secured. The patient is moved closer to the machine for preliminary positioning. Injection and positioning. Once the patient, the radiologist, and the technologist are ready, the power injector is turned on at the same time as the timer on Pristina. Once the full amount of contrast has been administered, the power injector can be removed from the injection site. It is recommended to wait two minutes for the full circulation of contrast through the breast. Only after two minutes from post-injection should the technologist begin proper positioning for the breast biopsy. Scout imaging, the start of the biopsy exam. A dual energy exposure is acquired. A low energy and recombined image verify the lesion location. The x-ray tube moves remotely to allow for plus 15 and minus 15 dual energy exposures as part of the scout imaging. Once the scout and the stereo pair images have been acquired, the targeting on the lesion can begin. The radiologist places the target on the enhancing lesion using the scout image to confirm location. Next is to choose a desired needle from the drop-down list. The displayed post-fire safety margin icon provides the radiologist with all relevant measurements for the biopsy exam. Starting the procedure. As with all biopsies, the radiologist prepares for their clean technique and the technologist drives Serena to the target location. Once Serena is driven to target location, sterile needle guide is inserted. The laser is used to help guide the anesthesia to the location of lesion. The biopsy device is mounted to Serena and the needle is advanced into the breast to the locking position. This is easily verified. When the mounted needle turns green, it is now at target location. Once the needle is fully inserted, a set of stereo images are acquired. These exposures for this exam are dual energy exposures. The radiologist will use these pre-fire exposures, the lesion location, 
and compared to the original stereotactic images. If the lesion has moved, a new target is placed and a new set of coordinates is sent to Serena. Serena is moved to the new coordinates. The biopsy device is turned on and samples are removed from the enhancing lesion area. As a final step, a clip is inserted into the breast to document the location of the biopsy. Remote angulation is used to perform post-clip insertion imaging. Serena also allows for 3D imaging, as seen here in the post-clip insertion 3D acquisition. Post-biopsy patient care. Now the biopsy is complete and the patient is removed from the system. The radiologist explains the success of the biopsy. The technologist performs post-biopsy care to the patient's breast.